Ukraine counteroffensive map the 8th of October 2023. The Ukrainian counteroffensive in the south of the country continues to make slow but steady progress. Ukrainian forces have liberated several villages in the Kherson region and are now within striking distance of the strategically important city of Kherson itself. In the east of the country, Ukrainian forces have also made some gains, but the fighting is much more intense. Russian forces are still in control of most of the Donbas region, but Ukrainian forces are putting up a fierce resistance. Progress of the counteroffensive. The Ukrainian counteroffensive began in June 2023 after months of preparation. Ukrainian forces have been using a combination of artillery, drones, and ground troops to push back Russian forces. In the south, Ukrainian forces have focused on liberating the Kherson region. This region is important because it provides Russia with a land bridge to Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014. In the east, Ukrainian forces have been trying to push Russian forces back from the Donbas region. The Donbas is an industrial region that is home to valuable coal and steel deposits. Russia has been trying to capture the Donbas since the beginning of the war. Challenges The Ukrainian counteroffensive faces a number of challenges. Russian forces still have a significant advantage in terms of artillery and manpower. Additionally, Russia has been fortifying its positions in the south and east of the country. Despite the challenges, the Ukrainian counteroffensive has made some significant progress. Ukrainian forces have liberated territory in both the south and east of the country, and they continue to put pressure on Russian forces. Images of the counteroffensive. The Ukrainian counteroffensive has been a major turning point in the war. Ukrainian forces have shown that they are capable of pushing back Russian forces, and they are now in a position to liberate more territory.